Hello friends, tonight we're going to take a look at the Microtech Ultratech Out the Front Automatic Knife. But first, I'd like to apologize for the lack of range reviews lately. It's rained for three weeks straight, and then we had the colossal winter storm. Neither one of those things made for uh, range reviews that would have been much fun for y'all to watch. So instead, here's another rainy day desktop review. The Microtech Ultratech is super cool. It's... It looks like the kind of knife that you would carry if you were in one of those uh, weirdly wholesome gangs from West Side Story. Uh, but if you were also a spaceman as well, this would be your crazy West Side Story gang space knife. The Ultra Tech is, is kind of as much a fashion statement as it is uh, a super functional tool as well. So in the past, I've been prone to buying the same knife over and over again for, uh, for everyday carry. And that has always been this CRKT Crawford Casper folder. I really love these things. I've owned a ton of them. They're super useful. And uh, though I've owned many knives over the years, I found that those uh, could be abused and they're inexpensive enough that I didn't feel uh, absolutely horrible about it. So anyway, uh, recently, well, I felt like maybe I should, uh, I should upgrade and, and change my approach to uh, the knife that I carry. Knives have always been tools, and I just didn't treat them well. So I thought, man, I'm going to get a, a really cool knife and, and see if even I can learn to, to treat my defensive items more like a careful, intelligent human and less like a wild and hungry capuchin monkey. Also, I figured if uh, John Wick likes to stick an Ultra Tech in his socks, uh, I'll probably enjoy sticking one in my pants. Uh, so I bought one that looks just like the one that he has in the first movie. Features. The Ultratech is a double-action OTF, or out-the-front knife, meaning that the blade fires from the front of the handle when one pushes the finely machined button forward, and then it retracts back into the handle when one pulls the button rearward. My Ultratech has an aluminum handle with a 3.4-inch L-Max blade. You can see that there. This is the double-edged blade. That's what the DE stands for. And uh, this is said to be the satin finish. Some Ultratech blades are made of M390 rather than LMAX, and I thought I was getting M390, and I would have preferred that, but we'll talk more about that later. This knife weighs a very comfortable 3.2 ounces. Uh, you can see Microtech's proprietary screws here. These are said to prevent counterfeiting, and they also undoubtedly look cool, in, in addition to making the knife uh, uh, very hard for the user to service. The pocket clip is super strong. And you can see it's got the date and the serial number uh, there. Mine was made in October of 2018. You can see that the pommel has a handy glass breaker. And there's this little lanyard loop there, if that's your thing. Which knives compete with this one? If you're not looking to buy a Microtech simply to have a Microtech, you're probably comparing it to a Benchmade Infidel or Phaeton. The Infidels, uh, even the Mini, they feel a lot fatter in your pants than the Microtech. And while that extra pants girth may impress the ladies, gentlemen, or horses, you may find that it also makes the knife less comfortable to carry day after day. Uh, many of the Infidel's features and, and hugeness seem to indicate that it was designed less for daily carry by civilians and more for duty use. Since the only duty that I regularly deal with is that which the possum that lives in my yard leaves in my mailbox a couple of times a month. Um, yeah, I felt like the Microtech Streamline profile makes it uh, suit my needs a little bit better, and, and perhaps yours as well, unless you're uh, military or law enforcement. Uh, the Benchmade Phaeton, on the other hand, uh, which used to be one of the HK-branded knives, is much more comparable to the Microtech in size, and I think it's got the button on the side rather than the, uh, or on the top rather than the front. I don't know. I don't know. They're all sides. I don't know. It's got the button where the hell it is on the Microtech. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, the Phaetons, though, to me, are a little bit less aesthetically pleasing okay they're they're far less aesthetically pleasing to me than the Microtex, and uh, you can't get anything like this blade shape and i really like this this blade shape for many of us this particular blade style is one of the reasons that we like the Microtex. so how does the ultra tech feel and perform it feels great and it performs extremely well uh, but before we discuss why, uh, if you're one of the four people who regularly watch my videos, you may have noticed that uh, I skip the part where I normally compare uh, whatever product I'm reviewing to uh, to the others from the same manufacturer. I didn't do that in this case because Microtech makes so many different blade shapes and, and knives of every different size. Whatever you need from them, they probably make something that'll work for you. So you have a lot of choices there. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled programming. 
when you press the actuator, you'll notice that it's a little bit stiff and difficult to fire the knife, but this button really grips your finger. And you know what? You want it to be a little bit difficult to fire. You want to make sure that the knife only goes off when you mean for it to. And same thing when you retract it. Uh, the double-edged blade... It's probably Microtech's signature blade shape, and I see why. It's it's pleasing to the eye. The point is very effective for piercing, and the, uh, the double-edge uh, uh, blade makes it good for slashing in either direction. This knife came fairly sharp from the factory. Uh, the, the, tip, the tip was really sharp. Uh, the blade, mm, it, was, it was medium. Um, and, uh, you know... Depending on whether you follow the manual or Microtech's website, either sharpening the blade at all or improperly sharpening it uh, voids your warranty. And, uh, and, and yes, indeed, it is horseshit, but we'll talk a little bit about, uh, about that later. Uh, you also void your warranty if you service the knife yourself, uh, which is difficult anyway, like we talked about the proprietary screws. Yeah. But you'll kind of forget about all of the, the weirdness with the warranty after you start to actually use the knife because it's very, very durable and the knife is incredibly fun to use. It's just fun to hold. It's fun to fire. It's just a cool knife. Uh, every part of this knife looks great. The pocket clip, the glass breaker, the screws, the machining on the button, it's all just lovely. And I love the button. The more I've used it, the more uh, I, I, I wouldn't change anything about how it feels. In fact, I wish every OTF, the button felt exactly like this one. Uh, so this knife with this blade shape, this is purely a defensive tool. Uh, it's not suited to prying, chopping, or batoning. In fact, you would destroy this blade very quickly if you, if you tried any of those tasks. But for defense, what a blade. And like I said, it arrives sharp enough, and that, that L-Max will, will keep it that way a bit longer than some other steels. But like I said before, I thought I was getting an M390 blade, but I got L-Max instead. So Microtech substitutes L-Max for M390 from time to time, but they don't tell you when they're going to do that, and I would really like to know which steel I'm getting when I buy a knife. The M390 holds an edge longer than the L-Max, that's why I wanted it, since it's unclear whether or not we're allowed to sharpen our Microtex and, and maintain our warranty. I would have preferred to have the uh, the steel that uh, that holds an edge longer. But uh, LMAX is easier to sharpen on your own, and M390 is a little bit more brittle. And some folks say that it is, a, it is very, very difficult to sharpen uh, M390. So this knife is really slim. And it's a pleasure to carry all day. I noticed that immediately. It's, you start to forget that it's in your pocket, but it's there when you need it. Though 3.2 ounces isn't the lightest, it's also not particularly heavy. I know some people say, oh, you know, I won't carry a knife if it's over, uh, you know, let's say, let's say three ounces. But this thing, oh, you'll forget it's there. The mechanism has been very reliable, and I've, I've come to really trust this knife. I just wish that I knew definitively, whether or not I could sharpen it. So what would I change about my Ultratech? I love this knife. I've enjoyed pretty much every Microtech I've ever handled, but a few things irked me. I thought I was buying a knife made of M390 steel, and I got one made of LMAX, which is also an excellent steel, but it's not M390. So who cares, you ask? I care because I spent $265 on a knife. For $265, I should get whatever kind of fucking steel that I signed up to get. And yes, Microtech says that they may substitute LMAX for M390 at any time, but why make that compromise? Why not just make every knife from M390? I get it. M390 is not always available. Maybe, maybe LMAX is more readily available. I'm not sure. But either way, when you're spending that much on a knife, you want to know exactly what you're getting. And when I spend that much money, it is absolutely my right to be picky about which steel that I get. And certainly 265 bucks is not remotely expensive for a really well-made knife. Still, it's a lot of fucking money. I would actually praise the use of LMAX if I were allowed to sharpen my own knife, but maybe that violates the warranty. Who the hell really knows? Uh, a Microtech dealer said that I can sharpen it, that I can call Microtech and verify that, but the manual says I can't. And then the website says I void my warranty if I do it wrong. 
uh, and and what the hell is wrong anyway? Um, so Elmax is easier to sharpen, and I like sharpening knives. Uh, like all capuchin monkeys, uh, knife sharpening is fun to me, uh, but I'm unsure if the warranty allows for it, and my Elmax blade just doesn't hold an edge as long as the M390 probably would. I want my M390 because that's what I thought I was paying for, and I paid a lot of money, and God damn it, I want it, and I'll cry and kick my little feet about it. Um, so in a very whiny nutshell, uh, those are my grievances. Um, <laughs> steel aside, I absolutely adore this knife. Final thoughts. The Ultratech is probably the coolest OTF knife that you can get. Uh, John Wick uh, killed a lot of Russians with it in the first movie, as you may recall, and if it's good enough for that, it's probably good enough for me to open letters and swat at printer paper and, uh, and grip in a panic when I hear a scary sound outside at night. Uh, there's really not a more fun knife to play with uh, when you're sitting on the couch, and you probably won't find a more aesthetically pleasing knife either. But I wish it were made out of the steel that I paid for, uh, or at least that I thought I was paying for. I, I guess you need to ask retailers about each and every Microtech that you buy. Don't trust the specifications on the dealer's website because you might not get what you think you're getting. Uh, so if you want an OTF knife, Microtech is your first and probably last stop. This is one of the, the those knives that folks who like cool tactical shit just need to own at least one example of. There's nothing quite like a Microtech strange warranty and all. Give one a try. And... Uh, uh, for everyday carry, by far and away, the Ultra Tech is my favorite, and I think you would probably enjoy one as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Good night.